When we speak about patent protection, there are two main pillars. First is to protect your invention thanks to a patent. This is very useful because you can have a monopoly for your invention. But of course, there is also a risk because it's possible that what you intend to put on the market is protected by patents from the competition. So you have to protect your invention, but you have to be sure that what you intend to put on the market is free to do it. So this is what we call typically the freedom to operate. You have to be sure that what you intend to put on the market is not in the scope of patent from the competition. And so for, to manage that risk, we monitor, we follow regularly patents filed by the competition. And then when we identify possible blocking documents, then we can take actions. First, we will look at the legal statuses of the document, documents. Sometimes we find a, a patent, but it is lapsed. It is no longer in force, so it's okay. But if we have a patent that is still in force, then we assess what we call the scope of protection, so the subject matter protected by the patents. And we compare that scope of protection with respect to what the client intends to put on the market. If there is still a risk, if we estimate that there is a risk, we can take actions against de dead patents before grant or after grant. Once the patent is granted from the competition, for many countries you can take action, such as, for instance, in Europe, what we call the opposition procedure. So you can oppose a patent before the Euro European Patent Office in order to try to invalidate that patent. It's important to know that watching the patents and patent application of the competition is also useful on the technical point of view because it is recognized that about 80% of the technical information worldwide is in the patent documents. So by following the patents and the patent application filed by the competition, you can also learn about your technology, your field of technology. Kievers, adding value to your creations.